additional payload, sir. Any high tech society requires lots and lots of payloads. Hey, yes, Fighting Ming is all about. No. Uh, you don't need to make one fort in the steps. Fighting Ming is all about letting him enter your low supply limit provinces. He's then going to split up his army in many different pieces, and then you pick them off one by one. So. See you, Goran! Man, this is bad guy just doesn't know when to give up. Shouldn't have said that. I thought I was gonna catch him there. Apparently not today. <laughs> Since uh, a couple hours ago, James. <laughs> Stuck a wiper! <laughs> now, I only got the one, eh, James. I only got the stack wipe right now. Oh, what? So he can convert the C, but he can't locate the rest of the sad days. Change my mind on this. I need to get to the new world as fast as possible. Yes. Oh, great, I can reach it. <laughs> When's the next stream? Uh, tomorrow. I'll try to wake up early. But uh, probably somewhere from 12 till 4. But I'm. Uh, I'll set up an alarm. Hopefully, I wake up and. Uh... Oh, thank you, Revolt again. Thank you for subscribing. Sub hype. Yeah, I'm aiming for something a little bit earlier than uh, than that, but we'll have to see. Cause like I, I suck at waking up, especially if it's in the weekend. <laughs> Stack wiping is the only kind of wiping flurry does. No, no. Sometimes I do, in fact, wipe my ass. I mean, that's uh, that, that's pretty crucial to life and you know, surviving. Because if you don't wipe your ass, you get hemorrhoids and all that. You get bad shit on your ass. You, you need to wipe. Alright. Here we go. And as if on cue, the war with Ming is due. This rhymes. Amazing. Thing. I need to talk to my tribes. Support them a little bit. Force them to give me some manpower, and then I need to give them some more land. Probably down here in Korea! Because I need a whole bunch of manpower to fight this bastard. And it ain't gonna be pretty. Oh, I've got a tech advantage on him? Oh. Well. Just, uh, fucking bust out the flags of victory right now. As soon as I get my troops into position, we're declaring that war.
Yeah, Tech 9 against 8 is a, a pretty big deal, because Tech 9 gives um, 25 tactics. That is uh, it's just one of those techs, man. One of those techs. Tech 9 is kick. Although the real... Nah, it's not going to make that big of a difference, right? The real kicker, the, the most important tech advantage, is when you get Technology 15. Because all of a sudden you get plus one morale and plus 25 tactics. Like, tech 15 is the shit. Like, if you have tech 15 and the enemy has tech 14, you can beat them to a pulp. And what's also really funny is that throughout the game it's like, oh yeah, two techs difference until the next one, one tech difference, two tech difference, three tech difference, three tech difference, four tech difference, three tech difference, two tech difference, one tech difference, and then it's six technologies from level 24 to level 30 that just don't matter. So that's a real, that's a pretty funny, uh, funny area to be at. Because if you get tech, um... Oh, Jesus, Hakshi, really? Fuck's your problem, bro. I see Srods! Stop burping. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> right. I can totally, uh... Wreck this guy right now. Uh, I'll be giving most of the land to fucking um, Kazak though. I want to not border Moscovy if at all possible. Although I would like. Hold on. I would like that province very much. I would also like to take out this silly fort. Accept that. Alright, so I want to core this one myself. And other than that, I want to give the rest to uh, Kazak. Maybe core this one myself as well. I can't. No. Wait, Kazak is like what? Isn't Kazak? Uh... Oh, Kazak Sunni. I thought they were Tengri. Am I bad? Ah, oh, whatever. I'm gonna be integrating him soon anyway. Actually, no, I'm not, because a lot of this turf isn't Kazakh land, right? So, I mean, he's got a claim on this. So, I'll give him kind of. Pack. But I'm gonna have to core the rest of this myself because I don't want him to. Uh... Don't want him to get uh, too much overextended or anything. Lower Ishmin. And then there's Irtesh. And Tuman.
Do I hate Sunnis? Um, no, but I don't like Sunnis either. I like Confucians and Tangri people, but uh, not not Sunnis. No. No. Although um. I uh, pretty much like everybody. But only negative one, right? If I get humanism, it's gonna be in the positives, so... After that, I'll like everybody. Yeah, or maybe like, release no guy? Don't really know if I wanna do that. Laurie hates Muslims confirmed. Hold on! How did this go from in the game to out of the game? Fuck you guys. <laughs> when is this guy gonna get finished integrating? 70 years. He'll surely be able to core that in the remainder of that time, so. I'm just gonna grant him the rest of this crap, too. Otherwise, I foresee problems. Don't be so Islamophobic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that pretty much sums up me. All, uh, all Islamophobic up in this, uh, bitch. Wait. What? Yeah, ain't nobody got time for that, bro. I kinda wanna become friends with the Ottomans. Maybe Persia. Nah, Persia sucks. The Ottomans, though, would be a very useful ally against uh, Muscovy. Yeah, we, uh, we restarted on uh, Friday. Ming still very much on Tech 8. I like that. Check out their army size. 45k, they have no manpower. But they also have no mercenaries. But I need to take at least one loan here, see how efficiently we can beat the shit out of them. hours from now will I be streaming? Um, I don't know. I, I, I'll tell you when I finish. Oh, well, I suppose in 11 hours. No, a little bit earlier than that. 10 hours. 10 hours from, uh, from now. <laughs> this is the point where you declare war on Ming and they ally Russia mid-war. That doesn't happen anymore in 1.15. That doesn't happen anymore in 1.15. They won't uh, do that. So you don't need to be afraid about that anymore. This guy just arrived. He's gonna have an awful uh, percentage chance of uh, succeeding, but whatever. Proper old way. What perfect timing. Right, let's declare war on Ming. And uh, declare a tribal conquest war, naturally. Wait. I never embargoed you? Shit, dude. Let's do that first and foremost, because he's stealing away a lot of my money.
And let's also give the tribes yet another province. Keep them loyal, it's going to reduce the costs of um, maintaining my army. We'll declare the war just to, you know, poke him with a stick, see where he's going to go, because he's going to march into my territory and then I'm going to kill him. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> why is his, uh, why are his tubes damaged here? What did you do? Oh, he lost his air. Oh man, if we kill his, uh, we kill his king right now. What's his king, king's name? I can't tell if he made his king into a general or not. It, I'm assuming no, because I don't see his general anywhere. His name. But that would be so cool if we could king his, uh, kill his king in battle. Oh! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Quill 18 learns of the stack wipe. What the fuck? Oh man. Can't believe he completely forgot about it. And this is where you spam this. You stuck a weapon on your stuck a weapon. <laughs> this is amazing. Fucking Ming Lei one. I want a Rock Lee theme. I need it. Raise your fuzzy eyebrows, people. Oh. Whew. 
Uh, we're not quite done yet. I'll tell you exactly where he's gonna run off to. Well, not where he's gonna run off to, but where he's going to appear. Oh my god, this chapter! What have I done? I've created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time to do that. <laughs> Can't stomp the peasant rebellion. All this wiping, like wiping tissue on a marker. What a time to be alive. <laughs> oh man. What is life right now? I don't want to fire that guy though. We'll just have to use two two guys. <laughs> Something, something tells me he's in Damning. Damning. I mean, obviously Ming's in Damning. Oh, he's not. Yeah, sad days. Oh, well, I was pretty close. Right, let's get the the actual music back then. See how this is going. Oh. What the f <laughs> that was random as shit. I need to get access to their capital, so... We need to siege down the, the fort that's blocking us here. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I was just watching episode 1 of this series on YouTube and I decided to check Twitch. Now why the hell would I go back to YouTube? Well, you know, if you want to watch it at your leisure, you know, if you if you feel like um, like I stream at pretty random times sometimes, so sometimes you can't catch the live stream and you're like, oh, well, I want to, uh, I don't want to miss anything. I'd better go uh, check out the. Uh, check out the actual stream. Yeah? Also, my my um, my air is a lot better than my ruler. There we go. My air is a lot better than my ruler, and I've got really shitty generals. So, certainly want to be playing around with this guy. 
Uh, I could go fight this guy and like do something with him, but I really don't want to do that because. I feel like this is gonna get old. <laughs> no man, this isn't gonna get old. Oh, sad days. Well, good thing I didn't put on the music. I was sure I was gonna stack weapon there. Oh well. But uh, yeah, I, I stream at pretty random times, so sometimes you won't be able to catch it. And uh, I kind of want people to be able to catch it. Uh, also, if you watch it on YouTube, you can kind of like. Um, you know, skim through it real fast instead of uh, watching it unfold as it unfolds. Several reasons why. So, YouTube's a uh, slightly higher quality, I'm pretty sure. But mostly, you know, catching up, because uh, Twitch doesn't archive things uh, as long as YouTube does, because YouTube's indefinite, and Twitch is, n well, not indefinite. Now after we siege this down, we have to go take save my capital though. Which we should have been doing, but I was too afraid. Let's get this guy out of here, I want him out of uh, harm's way. I should really invest in a fort on my capital because this is this is getting to the point where it's really annoying because I uh, feel like we've been here before, you know. Him sieging down my capital, then me going over there trying to uh, liberate it. I, I, I suppose I could put these on top of a mountain, and that might work. Oh no, no, definitely not. Might want to be raising war taxes for a minute there. Also getting that inflation below 10% seems like a good idea. How about that royal marriage, bro? Oof, almost there. Year 1750, acquire 25 loans and get negative one stab. Wow, that's a... Uh, that's a tough one. 25 loans is a lot. Especially if you're already big by then.
Because that's a lot of ducats in, in debt. Uh, there was one guy who calculated, like, if you were to take loans, build certain buildings, would you be able to make a profit? But, hmm. Oh, that's actually a clever idea, careers. Take economic and then pick the option. Usually, you're almost you know, like you're almost always going to want to pick the option for bigger loans because um, fewer bigger loans are better than um, a lot of small loans. Because if you have a lot of small loans, then um, every single time you won't. You don't pay back the loan on time. You get a, um, you get ten percent um, inflation. Point ten percent. So if you want to minimize inflation, then uh, you should probably uh, get the bigger loans. But if you want to do that, the twenty-five loans thing, then you should probably get that six times annual income thing. Yeah, I'm sieging them my capitals costed me a lot of uh, is making sure that I gain a lot of fucking war exhaustion. It's kind of sad. That's pretty clever. Pretty clever. <laughs>